I haven't really been jacking. No, you Spanish, your Spanish compadres, they ain't been doing the right things. I'm not jacking POC at all. Like, oh not shit, black, if you're not black, all them niggas. What man, about light them, skins? You fuck with the light skin? Yeah, 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 that's all good. But I'm talking about all them minorities that be like using, but like be fake black, be black when it's convenient, or be might be a chink or whatever it is when it's convenient. Then they, you know what I mean, when it's not, it's not. Fuck that. Fuck y'all, B. Black shit is black, nigga. <laughs> Yo, we live. We back Yo. in this lit. We in the building. <laughs> we in the building. Um, episode. Uh, I don't know. We go. You know, it's probably 30, 32, 31, 32. thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty-two. Right, we'll have our editor uh, yeah. make sure he gets that right Quick, for us. It. Quick, figure it out. Boom. Where we going? So Black going lives on. still matter. All day. Juneteenth was yesterday. Did you, did you, what'd you do for Juneteenth Free? I just supported black people like I always do. Copy. I spent my money in the community. Copy. Um, and I kept it light. Copy. Did the family thing, regular shit. You Copy. know what I mean? What about you? How you spent your June? Copy. Yeah, I, I mean, I went down to the West End, supported a couple black businesses. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, I bought some dinners from some more black businesses for, for people and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, black, just black shit, blacking it up, being keeping it black. A lot, lot of shit, lot of shipping going on. Yeah. If you're in America, have you fireworks? If you have your eyes open, it is. Yeah. Niggas, Unplugged. Niggas is killing themselves, supposedly from trees all uh, of a sudden. Let's, let's just start. Up, let's just let's. We gotta talk about Atlanta where we're at first of all. Yeah. Let's let's get you caught up to speed. I'm sure by now, if you haven't heard, you're familiar with the name of Shaw Books. He was killed by the, the white races, man. by the white men, the race soldiers. Race soldiers. AKA the APD. Yeah. Um, I you know, he got he was sleeping in his car. He was drunk, told him to let him walk home. They refused, made him take a breathalyzer. He started what, what are we looking at? I ain't doing this. You're gonna fuck with the sound effects. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> he was drunk. He made him take a breathalyzer, he didn't want to. They told him under arrest. He took it anyway. It was obviously the numbers was kind of high, whatever the case may be. Yeah. He tussled with them. He took their taser, kicked them, started running, shot him in the back. Nasty work. Killed yeah. them. Five to three. Five to them. And, it, and, it, and the nastiest part is that several, several, the faction of the community that's saying that the shooting was justified because homie tussled with the police and... He kind of aimed the taser a little bit. Well, let me, let me it's just, just a taser. This. Let me give y'all. Let me give y'all this how I feel about the situation. I, he definitely didn't deserve to die. However, when you tussle with police, it's gonna be nine times out of ten, it's gonna be a bad outcome. So if, you, if that's the route you're gonna take, like Faircon said, you need to go back to the wall and kill as many of them niggas as possible. If not, be complacent. Yeah, he would have got arrested. He might have had to sit for a little while because he's on probation, but he'd still be here. You know what I mean? But yeah. if you're going to go the route and you want to fight and do all the extra shit, you might as well go all the way. Go to the to the 10th level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't take the taser. Take the gun. Yeah. Get your shit off. Ray, Ray Shard. Yeah, Ray Shard. I mean, Ray Shard was just trying to get home to his kids and all that. And we under, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, yeah, he probably should have just tried to go for all the way for Gusto, take the gun and murder them niggas. But you can tell that he wasn't that type of guy. Like, he really was just a good old guy just trying to get home and shit like he wasn't like a motherfucking really a thug or a goon or a nigga that was really about that action or anything that matters so it made sense to why he tried to run just run and get home safely and shit but either way shooting the man in the back several times and then kicking him after he was yeah, down. Yeah, the kick after was egregious the, 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 that's deplorable the, behavior they didn't, they didn't rush to seek get him medical treatment you know what I'm saying like and it was several, like, it was, like, so many people there. It just hey, yeah, they didn't give a fuck. And, and how do you feel about the people taking their anger out on the, at the Wendy's saying that the Wendy's should have never even called the boys in the first place? I mean, I feel them. Fuck it. Fuck the Wendy's. It's unfortunate. I talked about this before. There are going to be casualties of the war. So people are going to lose their jobs because the Wendy's is getting burnt down. It is what it is. It's unfortunate. But Wendy's got a feeling. You shouldn't call fucking police. There's some faggot shit. Let that nigga cook. Like, I'm not jacking it. 
You know what I mean? And then really the whole fallout, the fallout has just been just as crazy as the whole incident. So, you know, fortunately, officer charged, felony murder, right? Aggravated assault, shooting in the crowd, putting people in danger. He got 11 counts of some shit, so yeah. something got to stick. You know what I mean? They charged him like a regular person. But on the flip side, APD police community, they've had it up to here. I've been in Zone 6 actually recently over the past couple of days, and it really was, hasn't been police anywhere, and it's weird. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure which zone I live in, but uh, there, uh, uh. there was a full-blown fireworks show outside my crib. Right, right there on Memorial. Yeah, it was a full-blown fireworks show outside. Now yeah. one cop pulled up. Like, it was all smooth. Yeah, man. yeah, we got KJ coming from left field talking yeah, about police walking off the job. Oh, yeah, but... Because of blue. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but look, though. See, but... I think it is right. It's, it just show how really, like... Because really nothing that crazy really even went down. Like, them niggas wasn't working, and niggas ain't really, really, really even noticed like that. Like, I mean, yeah. Like, like we don't really hear it. Like, a little shooting head there, but let's be real. Like, anybody that's a criminal... Like, they're going to do their criminal activities regardless of the amount of police that's patrolling the streets or not. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, police aren't here to stop. They don't stop any crime. They just kind of just clean shit up. They just try to clean shit up after it's done. You know what I'm saying? So, they like, just getting their packs off clean. Uh, you know what I mean? Without all the extra shit. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't no crazy shit happening. Like, it was actually good to see less police presence. Like, I wasn't nervous driving around. Yeah, we didn't need We, 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 we didn't need y'all. Ja. So Thanks. y'all just proved even y'all just proved further why y'all niggas need to be defunded. Yeah, we don't really need too much too much of y'all, B. We don't really need like we don't need a, a tanks. Y'all don't need army surplus material. Y'all don't need motherfucking. Put that know. shit in the education. All y'all need is a all y'all need is a glizzy, and then y'all really don't even need y'all need to they need to start making like a two year limit or something before you could even touch it. Like, get a glizzy. Yeah, all it gotta glizzy. be like a three year training. I seen a I saw a graphic. Uh, you can fact check me if you want, but I believe in like Norway and I can't remember the other places, but like it required like three years of training or some type of degree before you could become a police officer. Yeah, like, like you can't just jump fact, out the window. The fact that to become a police officer requires one of the lowest rungs of intelligence. Like it required like it's high school degree, like twenty one hours. Not even high, you have a GED. You got a GED. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so all you have to do is basically fulfill the minimum, minimum requirements of adulthood to become a police officer. It's kind of gross. It's I mean, kind of, it is gross. I mean, but, I mean, it's a lot of niggas that don't got high school diplomas and GEDs. Like, it's still only, like, probably, like, not eight months of effort to get a GED than become a cop. Like, that's kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it, it, it's nasty. Definitely, they need to make, it has to be way more restrictions. Like way more stipulations to become police officers yeah. in America, and then even after you get it, yeah, they should be vetted. They should be vetted. They they background should be checked like the same way they the FBI checked people before they hired pe- people to the FBI. I mean, vet people, talk to the people that grew up with them and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They should yeah. be doing all that shit. Yeah, Brian, Brianna Taylor, RP, her killers She's are still, still free. Yeah, they out here macking. They doing the things they like to do. They one of them, the Juneteenth picnic. I think Crazy. one of them got fired, but they just, they chilling. The son say he got fired, but that was like, that his, like he like a nigga that. And let me busy. let's be clear with this fire and shit. Like a lot of time, cops just get fired and just get transferred to another precinct. Yo, you, that you happens, happens all the you time. Know? Somebody told me I ain't even go back and check the facts myself. I ran with it because that's the type of shit I was feeling that day. But somebody told me that one of the cops, the cops, the partner of the nigga that shot Rayshard Brooks, used to be a cop. Um, like I think it was the upstate New York or something like that, and he shot somebody. Got hit. Cop out here. I believe it. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Like yo, they be letting people that did violent, that did violation shit in other places just. Just move Ooh, back. You can up. just go anywhere. You can just go oh, somewhere. Oh, you a, like, oh, you a killer? Oh, come over here. Yeah, they just like, yeah. yeah, you can just be like, yo, I was a cop before. I know how to cop shit. They're yeah. Like, oh, what? All right, fuck it. We'll give you a shot. That shit That's crazy. crazy. That shit is crazy. That shit. You gotta get something gotta happen with the Brianna shit. Like, that, like. Yeah. You know, Tamika Mallory and them pulling up over there on June 25th. Okay. So they about to get real. Got the black queen. Yeah, they about the front to get. Line, they about to done. get technical over there. They about to pull up over there with all the Black Lives Matteriness. You know what I mean? Shout out to um, what's that? Until Freedom. They whole moving over there. I like how I like what they got going on. Are you feeling their energy? Yeah. yeah. 
Not too. What else is going on? What? Oh yeah, NBA back. July. All the not if Kyrie got anything to say about this shit. Oh, are you team Kyrie? Or are you team letting them niggas play? I'm team letting them niggas play. Okay. Um, I think Kyrie needs to have more thought behind it. I think that I think that regardless of what Kyrie's saying, the fact that he wasn't gonna play regardless, really kinda kinda he I really feel like he should just shut up. Like Oh damn, you, shut up and dribble, say it. Go ahead no, and say not it. shut up and dribble, but you never was gonna play. So why are you speaking over other niggas that why are you you trying to take hijack shit and control their livelihood and shit? It's mad motherfuckers who families and all type of shit that's going on. You never was playing to begin with. So why are you even giving out big ass sweeping opinions that have changed shit around and you know what I'm saying? It's like why are you throwing shit? I don't get why are you throwing this shit my up thing in the blender. I feel you, Kyrie. Like, I'm all for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to make your own league, I support that. Don't play. Get the message out. I support that. But there has to be a plan. It can't just be like, all right, we're not playing. But then what? Like, y'all going to keep marching? Like, we've had, like, 50 marches now. Like, the amount, got, of, like, the amount of money the amount of money that dumb players could generate for the black community by playing in, that playing basketball for the next couple months it can, can't be replaced by no other thing like you know what I mean yeah. right, like, and I feel the other side too like also River said 95% of the niggas living check to check niggas hurting like, niggas is hurting bro they ain't even get they full check for the season niggas like, niggas got shit niggas got bills got coming the bills are still I mean? coming all the payments are still due you know what yeah, I'm saying they, st- they didn't do. get paid for the they didn't, didn't they didn't get paid for the entire season you know what i'm saying niggas be spending money that they ain't even get yet you know what i'm saying even like, their little walk through club appearances all that, that shit been a that dub. been a dub like everything been everything slow you know what i'm saying it's so, definitely slow yeah little endorsement shit slow like anything slow anything will stop you know what i'm saying so yeah be that shit what they, I don't that nigga's like, bugging i don't like how can it's okay to disagree with Kyrie though but i said this before i think in this climate as black people like we have to be careful in like the words that we use when we're debating with each other. Like it's like I said, it's I hate to disagree, but I don't like how Kendrick Perkins is like talking crazy about yeah, Kyrie Kendrick Perkins trying to make on national like he trying television. To, like like I'm not gonna agree with it's that. It's like he's trying to call him dumb. Like yeah. he trying to talk to him like he's stupid. He tried to call him dumb. He said if you would take Kyrie's brain and put it in a bird, he would fly backwards. Like that's mm-hmm. corny. You don't you don't say that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we still on the same team. You know what I'm saying? Like we yeah. don't we not we not gonna be derogatory. We got white people watching. Yeah. And they just looking at us like this is why we can never be on the same side or nothing. Yeah. I can't even get y'all shit but together. I feel like, I feel like although Kyrie is a star, he should have left that. He should left somebody. He should have left it up to somebody that was playing to be the public face of all this shit. Like when Dwight Howard came out and said something too, like somebody. That actually had a- something to sacrifice. So Avery, Avery Bradley, he's one of those players because yeah. he's on a finals team, that potential finals team. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I respect where he's coming from. And he like, yeah, like I'm with Kyrie. This shit gotta change though. We need more GMs. We need more people of colors in these executive positions. Yeah. You know what I mean, Basically so I, I, get what, I, I respect what I respect what he did. He came through with like the men's these, these are the things that yeah. we want to change as far as the NBA is concerned. We want more money to be put towards black communities yeah. that are directly benefiting black communities like we need to see shit like that yeah. so I feel able for coming through with some type of structure yeah you know yeah what I, mean? I mean some niggas some niggas is just ideas guys and some niggas got more concrete you know what I'm saying the, the back I of mean, the ideas he had the right idea yeah, some, some, niggas, I mean? some, some niggas is just you know intellectuals that shit might just come to them they throw some shit out there you know what I'm saying and, and then and they take they people to come in behind that like okay that was a good idea like let's yeah. you know what I mean yeah. I, I, you know what I mean yeah. I, I, listen, I respect Kyrie. Maybe the messenger could have been different. The delivery co- might have been off. Might have been too radical for some people. Because <laughs> you know, that's what it sounds like. He's yeah. getting all this pushback. Yo, like, niggas was butthurt like, start her on league? Yeah, ah, like, ah, like, how dare you, Kyrie? Ah, Shut up, Kyrie. What? Yeah, how the dare same guy he? is the flat earther. <laughs> Why should anybody? He's never been a niggas leader. like, yo, how dare he say They start going right at his name. character. Like, and, you know, to other people with defense, like Kyrie, you did go Snow Bunny, all Snow Bunny only on the boat for your birthday. Like, that was the day you promoted. He, he was did. like, white bitches only. He and did. I wasn't mad at you. Like, I was like, you know what? That's his preference. And you was acting butthurt over Kalani. We didn't forget that either. You know what I mean? Like, I'd respect him a little bit more if it was SZA, but <laughs> to each his own. You know what I mean? Speaking of music, SZA, all that whole little chocolate shea butter, J. Cole and No Name, they going back and forth. How you feel about it? Let me ask you this. What's J if J. Cole made a track, so if you not caught up, where he talked about what was going on, but 
allegedly he was highlighting No Name, who was also an artist, Black Queen, who yeah, was mean. calling out high-ranking rappers and saying they're not on the front line. And he felt like he was one of the people she was talking to subliminally. So he addressed that and was basically saying, like, don't come at us crazy because we might not necessarily be as woke as you or we not doing the same things as you. Like, we still have the same ideologies. I think that was his overall point. And some people took it like, you know, now is not the time. It could be divisive. We don't need no more attacks on our black woman. I, I feel, I feel like, I and, feel and like I he feel was... them too. Like, not necessarily isn't the time for the constructive criticism. You know what I mean? Like, he could have just took it and then just made a song about what was going on and, and did some uplifting shit. Because now I think that it distracted from the overall message. Now it's done turning to J. Cole versus No Name when it was supposed to be J. Cole rapping about were well, rapping against police brutality. Yeah, but like you know I, what I, mean? I didn't think I didn't see I didn't even know who the fuck no name was. So I just big I just moment for her. Take advantage. Leah, like I didn't know who the fuck that was. So I just was like, I'm hurt. I hear the J. Cole song and I'm like, okay. I see what he mean about like Shorty's just sitting sitting on Twitters or whatever it may be. Uh fucking criticizing people that are, are, are more ignorant and don't know certain things and not moving the right way and things of that nature as far as the, for the movement and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like he was talking about that in general. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, the timing was definitely like, what do you... Is now the time to really make a, a like a big release and drop a song criticizing uh educated queens like i don't really think that really was well or outspo- he, didn't, he didn't read the room outspoken educated queens yeah like he didn't read the room like it's not this wasn't the time for that and then and then the um all that shit shorty was saying like yo he's a sneaky misogynist like ah, ah, ah. like it, it just got really deep and really crazy like i haven't broke down the whole shit but like that's not be yeah, fooled they, they, they definitely the feminists came the, out but the feminist the feminist movement was created to to destroy to to, to break apart black solidarity we're gonna stand up yeah. yeah but if you didn't know research Angela davis but um fucking like when she came back with her re- with her record, when I listened to it, you know what I'm saying, and I and I was like, damn, she really just bodied that nigga, like, yeah, cause she did, cause she was basically cause, like, cause this like what you choose why to are you up? talking about me, fam? Yeah, like, cause I'm like, I didn't even know who the fuck she was. Like, who is this bitch? If he was talking about her, it's like, bro, why are you talking about her right now? Like, why was this what you told him? All, all, all the things to talk yeah. about, all, you want to go at it, her? If your, she didn't your, even say your name, she just said it's a lot of rappers that's not doing enough. Your people, is at, your people is at war, and you, and you, your people is under attack, I should say, because we ain't even really busting at, busting at nobody right now. So we really yeah, under, we're under attack. So really under attack. Your people, victimized. Your, yeah, your people is under attack, and you chose to... Make a song, dropped it on title, main page, all type of shit that was really just criticizing black women for like that really made no sense. Honestly, like he blew it, son. I yeah, can't lie. He blew it. Do you like the song? Is it bars? Which Is he one? Flowing? J. Cole's. Oh yeah, I mean it's typical Cole, like so good, basically good you was points. gonna go to sleep if you had to listen to it three yeah, more times. Yeah, I mean, times. good points, good violins or whatever instruments that nigga be using, and yeah, you know I mean, you know, J. Cole gonna they can lighten you and shit. It, it was a good song, but horrible timing. Horrible timing. And he still hasn't given me a song about what's actually going on nowadays. Like, yeah, like he spent more bars rapping like he was upset at the fact that niggas was calling him out or uh, a, a queen would call him out like that on her platform more yeah. than like addressing what's niggas actually getting going on. knees to the neck. Yeah. Protesters getting shot yeah. at. You know what I mean? Like, all these celebrities getting canceled left and right for racist yeah. shit. Like I would have expected more of that. Like, you are know what you, I mean? Are you are you secretly being are you secretly kind of upset that you're being exposed for somebody as somebody that can't exactly say everything that he wants to say anytime he wants to say it? Nah, that's real shit. Is that part of it? Are you butt hurt? Like that's yeah. And if you are, like, you could have dropped it, but six months later like yeah like, do it later so wait till the climbing is, isn't as explosive throw it on the back end of your album yeah like Bonus you know what track. I mean like yo this is how I was feeling I ain't wanna I knew it wasn't the appropriate time like yeah. niggas are the respect to that like yeah. okay he waited I, I he exactly. didn't jump out the window exactly. but now 
we're talking about it. We're spending a good 10, 15 minute segment on our podcast talking about Jay Culver's no name. He decided to make a he decided decided to make a diss track against a fake I mean not really a diss track, but like a fake diss track against people that's part of the same movement. Like that only makes sense. Yeah, that was corny when you could have just dissed the whole other movement. Like I'd have respected if you would have came at Antifa or something. <laughs> you know I mean? like, go at them niggas. Like they don't want to they burning shit down. They just arrested the white lady who burnt down the Wendy's or who started the fire. That shit is disgusting. They arrested I heard they had yeah. a woman out for her. Yeah, they got her. That's disgusting. I, are you upset are you gonna put something on our books? Nah, I don't got nothing for it, but it's still fucked up. The shit ain't right. Uh, yeah, why niggas telling like they yeah, like that bitch. I don't go. know who. Yeah, niggas was recording Like, I'm not that one shit. of them niggas. I'll, uh, listen, I'm, I'll say this too. Like, I'm not one of those niggas that you know you see on the videos. Of, there's some black people when they see the white people destroying shit. They like, oh, stop! Like, oh, I don't really give a shit. fuck. Snitching. Look yeah, who not, did it. No, that's was a, I'm not shit. doing all that. This ass, bro. Like, they could like let them destroy it. You know Tell what I mean? Bro. But shit is ass, bro. at the same time, like I'm not thirsty for them to do it either way. Yeah, but, but, but let's, I'm not let's be real. Them. Burning shit down is undefeated. Every time some shit got burned down, a cop got arrested, shit got charged yeah, up. Yeah, like. Breonna Taylor's niggas is still roaming free because nobody burnt nothing down in they Louisville. Gotta, they got to torch some up. shit in Louisville. Stand up. Yeah, that's Nobody a burnt nothing down in Louisville. That's how Breonna Taylor killers was macking. Once nigga. they start breaking shit, burning shit, yeah. setting shit on fire, yeah, standing in the middle of the down. highway, yeah. yeah, like really fucking some shit up. Burn nothing yeah, down. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Burn Sometimes you got to torch something. It's literally undefeated. Everywhere you go. Sometimes you got a Luke Kang a building, you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Throw a little fireball, a little Hadouken. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm all for that. Quick segue, six nine drop Lil Kim. How you feel about it? Clout change for her? Are you what? done with her? What are you talking about? Six nine Lil Kim. Lil Kim. Nicki Minaj, so disrespectful. Six nine and Nicki Minaj got a new song he out. About this as well as Lil Kim, my nigga. You oh, know, shit. it's the same. Blow up, doll, little I'm, not, I'm not saying that because nah, the barbs nah, will mean, be in your DM. I mean, man, Queen, will... Queen, Queen Kim, my for I shouldn't even disrespect a little Kim like that. Nah, Nicki Minaj is a dub, bro. I'm she a dub? Yeah. Why? She's a bozo. Why she dub? She's a bozo for doing a joint with six nine. Like, is eight he... is eight kind of dub? Yeah. Eight kind is corny, son. I, he was corny for that shit too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have no Akon music to listen to. Like, there's not no new Akon that's about to drop that I'm checking for. So, uh, so that's why like, he did it. It's, like, it's not like there's no new Nicki Minaj I'm checking for. Like, if you want to be a washed As up, someone that's been in the cash. system, do you feel like he violated the Locked Up song by putting 6 9 on it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I need... I, it's clearly... I mean, it's just hilarious. Like, he... Out of all the songs you could have put him on, out of anything you could have did... Nigga went Locked Up that's why. That's why it's like, yo... Akon disrespected himself. He trolled. He let himself be violated and be trolled the troll. and be a part of the bullshit. Like you will put a nigga like Six Nine on a joint, like locked up and play it and put it in like, like I'm sure that was Six Nine's idea. I mean, yeah, like well, whoever but, idea was like, yeah, like they were looking at it like, yo, we're, we're gonna. He don't even realize the troll that he's like, he's a part of the yeah, troll. Like he's being used for the troll. He's being that used was, for the troll. And it's like, yo, even realize it. Akon, like that was just. And that was just so horrorish. Like, yo, you wouldn't have no more with saying you just a whore for bread. That let me know that you be selling out in the, on a low. Like, all them little deals and shit that he be having going on. Sneaky to be having mad white faces in the background of that shit. That deal he just signed in Senegal, that $6 billion shit with KBE, whatever, whatever. Bro, this my man sent, sends me the website of the, of the, of the um, company that, that he did the deal with. Every single person on that shit is just straight white people, bro. Like... He did a deal in the middle of Africa with straight white people, my nigga. You mm. know what I mean? Like, come on, son. Like, this nigga, man, this nigga's a whore for bread, son. I fuck that nigga, man. Fuck so Akon. Fuck Akon? He, yeah, bro. He's a whore for bread, bro. You can't respect nobody that's a whore for money, son. You don't really, you just, you just in it for yourself. Oh, that, like, that's all you worried about. That, that, that type of moving, son, you going, that, niggas like that sell out generations, bro. They, they was the niggas that really set niggas back, bro. That yeah. shit is crazy. And Nikki. Yeah. I don't think neither one of them. I could understand. I understood Nikki more so than Akon. Like, I didn't feel like Akon had to do it. Like, it wasn't necessary. Akon is past even making music. Like, I didn't even know Akon was even caring about making a song. Like, you yeah, know what I'm like, saying? you building shit in Africa. Like, you you up. Your brick is up. You sold yeah. the, the rights to Lady Gaga for a buck or whatever yeah. the case. So it's not I like you think, hurting for bread. I didn't think he was thinking about making a song. Nikki, I, I, I. 
even though she's wild thirsty for a hit, so I could get she it. A little, I say for real. Yeah, a little. She fresh what? off the Doja Cat's cat skin, though. That was nasty. Yeah, like she she was lit, and then Doja Cat fucked it up with her racism. But then you double back. But then you she you scream. Back. You you love to do shit. Yo, I got I, I, my my man is wild, big blood man, and all that. He said her blood nigga ain't condoning. He not condoning. But he quit. Shit. But now, like yo, your, your whole relationship looks sus now. Everything looks sus. Like yo. Like, I don't know, bro. He like, came from, she said, real, she came from from a point of like, yo, these niggas is entertainers, rap is entertainment. Nobody's really doing none of this shit. Like, we but just you chat, snitched we in chatting. real life. Like, Ooh. the snitching wasn't chatting, joking. No, 6ix9ine did, really did tell. Niggas is doing real. Like, you can't keep saying, oh, it's all entertainment. This shit not real. When people is doing real time behind bars, it's physically human beings in prison based on something. You said on a stand, bro, and you got yourself out of the prison, bro. Like, what do you, you can't, like, that shit is nasty. You're a whore for bread. You did it for clout. You don't really respect, you don't have no more to do anything for popularity and little fame. You wanted, you wanted that number one single so you could say, yo, I'm Nick, Nicki, Nicki Minaj got another number one or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nancy. So you're not going for it at all. I think it's disgusting. I think it just shows a lack of morals, bro. Copy. Your cousin B. Simone, she got her third strike. They canceling her. She can't get a bucket. She can't win. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you feel like as black people, we're quick to cancel our own? Like, do you feel like what she did was so egregious that we shouldn't just be fucking with her? Or could she have made an honest mistake? Because she said she outsourced, and the people she hired to work on the book for her just copped, and she really wasn't aware. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, she, she definitely is super duper in the wrong. Do I feel... Like, the reason why I do believe that Particularly, B. Simone deserves to be canceled is because oh, is because she talks to them. She the reason why I think in particular specific that B. Simone crazy. deserves her cancellation is because yeah. she always comes from a position of like she's talking down to people, okay. and like she is better than people, like and she shit. and she and she has these methods and these things for you to build up to become like her because you're down there being a bum ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's really like her whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? So hat so when you stole so when you're telling everybody, yo, be like me, woo woo woo, woo this book could get you there. And now you saying, oh I outsourced this and da 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 So basically saying like yo, I, I shortcutted the my, my, the whole shit while I was selling you a dream. You know what I'm saying? It came back to bite me in the ass. You know what I'm saying? That's that. You scumbag, B. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. I don't, I'm good on B. Simone. Somebody else has made an honest mistake. Yeah, but nah, not her. I'm going to let B. So I'm still giving B. Simone the pass. Just because of the climate that we're in, it's just not good for us to just say, well, we could, if we, if we want to go to extreme levels of cancellation, like, fine. But let's revisit this in a few months. You know what I mean? Like, she came out, she made a vi video, she took accountability, which is all you could really ask for with people. Like, she knows she fucked up. Even though she's still trying to throw her team under the bus, she still owned it. You know what I mean? And when you own up to it, like, I can I can always respect that. You know what I mean? And she's still one of us. Like, I mean, I, I, she didn't go out and rape nobody. She ain't still. You know what I mean? She made a book, and they just plagiarized, which is fucked up. I think one way to rectify it is send some bread to the original authors. Let them know, like, you know what? We made a million off your book, off, off your thoughts, your thoughts and prayers. You know what I mean? And we're going to set you out. I think there's still ways that she could do the right thing. She could rectify the situation. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? Like, I don't, like, I'm, like, I don't think people, I don't want anything bad to happen to her, nothing like that. But I don't, I just feel, I just feel like, yo, like, there's other places to go, to go other people to support. Like, people that genuinely yeah. care. People That's that, doing people all the way, that, all the way that on the up and up. All, up. all the work, genuinely care about the people that lives that they affect. And they're not talking down on people when they get, when they, when they achieve success. It's a, it's a slew of people that's that 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 that's out there that need support, and I don't think be Simone just cause you just cause you achieved something, just cause you achieved it before, don't mean that you always deserve it. Like you're not deserving of it just because you achieved it. Like you know, I don't believe that. Like you don't violate it too many times now. So they like, gave you like four chances now, bitch. Fuck out of here. It's there, it's there, bitch. Yeah, fuck out of here. It's over. Born, huh? <laughs> it's over. I mean, listen, be Simone. You know, take some time to yourself, reflect. Maybe, you know, this was a real humbling experience because we all go through them. 
You know what I mean? And I and I wish that you come back stronger. You know what I mean? I hope the new book that comes out, it'll be your words 100% or at least 85% so we don't have this type of controversy. And while we're at it, we're going to pay some bills and give you to a word from our sponsors and we'll be back in two seconds. Allah. Yo, we back, we back, it's back. lit Trump holding Corona Palooza Oh <laughs> my god, what is wrong with your man, My son? man Wailer Why is he got 20,000 niggas in close quarters it's America versus the China flu America versus China flu, man, fuck China flu Get your sea moss, get your ginger You know what, look Are you gonna go outside the Tulsa Valley Listen, with sea moss and ginger? And shout try to, to save them? Nah, but I want a quick segue while we still talking Corona. Shout to Scrap before the culture incorporated. He was gonna have a a, a thought campaign. Cam- oh nah, I don't want to say that because what? he got a girl. Nah, <laughs> we was gonna have a party. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Scrap is a loyal black man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> but they can shut wowzers. But nah, listen, we were supposed to go to Miami and be lit. In six days, but I don't know if I'm fu- I'm not fucking with it. Florida is having two thousand new cases every day in the past week. Why is kept? Yes, the shit is going crazy. You thought Corona was over? It's not. They've had two thousand cases every day in the past week since they started opening shit up. Wild and crazy kids. That's a lot, bro. I'm fuck- like I'm good on that. Like you know what I mean? And they saying Florida is the new epicenter. I'll say two things. I kind of want this shit to spike back up and shit to shut down. Niggas keep going to Miami. Huh? Niggas keep going to Miami. Yeah, niggas keep going. Niggas can't wait to go to Miami. Niggas back on the flights. Niggas is running around no mask. Like, niggas for fuck it. Like, yeah. AMC said you don't have to wear a mask. You can come watch the movie. Sneeze and cough all you, die, you want. You die. If you die, you die. You know what I mean? But um, Corona's here. It hasn't gone away. A lot of y'all haven't been taking a proper step. Proper precautions to why, keep yourself you fed. You want shit to shut back down? Oh, because I just, you know what I mean? Um, the things that I like to do in terms on the on the money side of things, like, oh like, no, I'm jacking it. I'm joking. I want the stock market to go back down. I want the Yo, businesses to close. Be awesome. You know what I mean? So I could get some options, buy some stocks at cheap price again. So I would appreciate that. Got some shit I've been. I don't I like want nobody to die, but you know what I mean. I got some shit I've been watching. I can't wait. I want the market to hurt. You want the market to hurt? I want yeah. I, I want the earnings to come back fucked up. I just want some people to lose some bread. Yeah, they can they can up. afford I want some companies some companies to lose some bread. So the they can afford to lose some bread. Like yeah. fuck out of here, bro. Like uh, I need the stock market to go back down, and I need cheap flights to be cheaper all the way up into Christmas, so I can book some more flights. I got some flights going to New York, but it's like oh, I had scary. a flight in New York for July, but like I don't even know if it's if it's too soon. That's very scary, bro. I'm not jacking it. I just talked to my grandfather today. He like, yo, I'm still not letting you in the crib if you pull up. So <laughs> take it how you want. You know what I mean? You can go to one. You know what I mean? Go somewhere else. Soon. It's not done. It's not done at all, actually. It's, start, it's just getting started. It's just getting started. Like, it gave you a wave. It was like, all right, we're going to calm down a little bit. I, I, and now we back over. It's just getting started. As soon as you think it's okay. I'm mad though Fucking one of my restaurants Ain't open up back yet Like Paris What the fuck are y'all doing Y'all not even doing takeouts Paris Yeah I like Paris Yeah they got that good breakfast I don't think that shit Is ever gonna open again I don't think they coming back It's over right If you on Holland You ain't open yet Yeah you're never gonna open That shit been open Holland been open For at least a month Yeah And it's like you said Like if you're on Holland And you close Like it's nasty Cause they really cost To be over there Yeah So like for whatever Caused the closure And they got a big space Yeah they got a big ass space They They do They like a little fake church Or something Yeah they got a big space And Paris I wanted I I had them cranberry French toast But who gives a fuck We supporting Black business. Black shit. Be fuck you if you got a white business. No, <laughs> oh shit, it's not that deep. Shout to Rock we, South. But we definitely supporting a black business. Shout to Rock South. Shout to Jutox. Shout to uh, with data, with data. Shout to uh, Juice Heads. Ju- Juice Heads. Shout to uh, Big Sweet, Sweet Auburn Seafood. Shout to Big Dave. Shout to Slutty Vegan. BQE. 
Shout out to BQE. Shout out to uh, who Soul else? Chef, my nigga country. Soul Chef, my nigga country. Uh, damn. Viva La Vegan. A black owned little Word. vegan spot. Get your shit right. Word. That fire jerk chicken. Oh, yeah. He's all Jamaican the yard man ting. All the yard man spots. Yeah. You know what I mean? Original Jamaican on Edgewood. You know what I'm saying? And I want to shout out Poppies. They Cuban, but Fidel nah, was for black nah. people. No, don't do that. Fidel fucked with black people heavy. Yeah. That's why he kicked them niggas Did out he? of Cuba in the first place. Yeah, don't do that. Fidel was fucking with us. Shout out to Keith. wasn't uh, one of them self hating Cubans who, who thought black people were different. Like, Fidel was all for it. Okay. You know what I mean, Mandela was over there fucking with Fidel. Don't do okay. that. Okay. But we fucking with Fidel, man. Shout out to the Cuban spots, man. To the real Cubans, the Cubans that know that they black, not you fake Cubans. Yeah, I haven't really been jacking. No you Spanish, you Spanish compadres, yeah. they ain't been doing the right thing. I'm not jacking POC at all. Like, oh shit, black, if you're not black, all them niggas. What man, about light them, skins? Are you fuck with the light skin? Yeah, yeah, that's all good. But I'm talking about all them minorities that be like losing, but like be fake black, be black when it's convenient, or be might be a chink or whatever it is when it's convenient. Then they, I mean, when it's not, it's not. Fuck that. Fuck y'all, B. Black shit is black, nigga. What about blackity black? What about flea? Is it like for the people that want to get get their get their drip together and want to be black on drip? We got fear of God. What else we got? We um, we not fuck with off. You don't own it. What's his name? Moss. Okay. Pia Moss, how you say it? Shout um, to my nigga on um, for the culture again. For the culture. I thought Rule was black. They told me Rule's not he's black. Philippines. He's uh he's question mark. Yeah. I mean, if you do support Rule, we're not mad. You know what I mean? But we're just gonna get What's to the bottom nigga, of it. Um, Sia Collective, nigga. My man, um, lifestyle, New York nigga. Yeah. Midline with my lot numbers don't. That's my man out yeah. here. He got the sweatsuits. Some of the black shit going on. I Sia think. Collective. They got the yeah. beats. They should look all right, too. Um, I might get a pair when it's right. Godspeed. I think Godspeed is black. That shit that, shit, that nigga Nick be pumping. Okay. Like, yeah, it's a couple black designers, man. Just just try to get with that vibe, bro. Yeah, I, not virtual, bro. That shit's not black. It's not black. I just got I just got my uh, CBD company under the way too, called Nature Street LLC. You know what I mean? So website is up. We just we waiting on the package, and that's why I ain't really been promoing too crazy. Be on the lookout for that. I mean, but besides that, yeah, and fix your credit. I just want to throw that out there too. We was having a credit discussion earlier. You got a black credit a black credit repayment. Let's keep shit black, nigga. Blackity black. What is it? Man. Citizens Bank? Aren't they a black bank? Uh, was it yeah. Citizens, Citizens Bank, right? Bank is one of the black banks to black it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Word is born. Fuck all that, bro. And stop and stop shooting black niggas right now. We yeah, not, please. We not Dead beefing. all the beef. We're not beefing with We're each other. We're not beefing with each other. Put your beef on postponement. Put your beef on postponement. Or if it's like a nigga really owes you an, an OD amount of money, like put the boxing gloves on. Like you could beat him up. Just don't kill him, bro. Like, we not, we not, we not putting nobody on the news for the next couple months, man. Let's yeah, focus. Don't, don't make nobody a pack. I mean, yeah, let's focus, man. I mean, don't we don't need to spend the block. Yeah, let's, let's do focus, that. man. Spin a block, spin a block on your real enemy, man. Spin a block on a white boy, fuck it. Oh man, oh, I, ain't, I ain't say it, but spin yeah. a block on your real enemy. Now, if you got like a skinhead or something, like then you can spin a block. They spinning a block. Is it? Is there are block. some. A- there's some allies. There's some allies. Spin a block on us, please, please believe that. There's ain't some it. allies. You know, ain't what nobody mean? hanging themselves from trees. So uh, it is with us. Well. Then they say one of them, they saw the, the surveillance footage on one of them joints, and they came out and they said the nigga, was, he really hung himself? Nah, uh, impossible. Where? I ain't see that. I ain't hear that. You ain't get that confirmation? I don't know. None okay. of them just confirmed. Copy. Nothing confirmed. What else we got going on? Did you watch the Dave Chappelle shit? Yeah, facts, 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 Tell facts. us about it. Enlighten the streets. Uh, Dave Chappelle was extremely upset. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He basically said, "Yo, what the fuck? I don't have what well, I I don't have to be on the front lines. You already know what the fuck how the fuck I feel. If you listen to me, I I've, I've been saying fuck the police. You know what I'm saying? He bigged up Christopher Donner, the nigga that murdered the cops in LA back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And um basically, bro, that shit wasn't even funny. Not to Larry David. Like the nigga, the nigga, Dave, it might have been one joke. I, mean, I might have laughed one, maybe twice. So it was serious tone. It was Dave. just he was just he was just talking. He was just letting white people know that once again, you fucked up. You know yeah. what I mean, type shit. But re- realistically, me, if you're a white person that's had the Dave Chappelle shit, you're probably already not in the way too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? So he's probably not even getting to the audience that he needs to get to. See, that's the, the the biggest problem with all this shit that we doing, even though it is working, that if we had a way to get it to 
the audience that really needs to see it, shit would change dr way more fat, like drastically, like immediately. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I feel like the people that really need to see it purposely is like they so, they they not tuned into them channel like they so NASCAR. They, you know, we need to advertise on yeah, NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. Whatever <laughs> whatever they watching on NASCAR channel. Yeah. Like if you had a if, if you were dropping. All this information, all these memes that's going on, all this information about systemic racism, redline, and all this shit they've been dropping. If Ben and Jerry's timeline was running, running through a NASCAR race, you know what I mean? Okay. Shit would be, shit would be a lot different. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Ben and Jerry's too. If you buy an ice cream, you're not buying Ben and Jerry's or some black owned ice cream. Right. You're, you're definitely not real right. I don't know what to say to you right ben now. Ben and Jerry's, what they do is they employ people with felonies and they pay them sixteen dollars an hour to help them make some of their flavors in Yonkers, New York. So like, they give the niggas a second chance and they pay them above minimum wage. So, yeah. like, and, they so, and they don't they don't do like no checks like no background checks yeah. like they just hiring uh, niggas off, and, off and, spot. They, and they and they and they pretty much dedicated the entire timeline to social justice reform I mean criminal I mean what's it black shit basically anybody got those chunky Systemic dunks racism. and you want to send them you can send those too size 12 you know I mean I'll wear them once probably sell them don't worry about it though come back yeah, it'd be like that but yeah um it is wild. Like I don't. Even, we can really just keep it a serious tone. Do you feel like defunding the police is something that it needs to happen nationwide? And is it gonna really work? Cause I see I I read some shit about the Canada shit being a myth. Like yeah, they defunded the police, but then like when they brought the police back, they doubled in size. And yeah, like they, people were getting way they, more tickets. They, like it was way more extra. What way they, more police. What they didn't do. What they didn't defund the police. What they did was they they disbanded the city police. And they recreated, and then they created a, a county police force. So they had a, so like, you know what I'm saying? They just doubled, they basically just doubled the county police force and just, you know what I mean, up the fucking patrolling and shit. You know what I mean? That's all they did. They didn't really change anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not okay. what they did. You know what I mean? To fund the police is really like, like, yo, we still have cops and shit. We just giving them less money, a smaller budget every year. And putting that money and allocating those funds in the, in the other uh, other things like if Public you look at schools, yeah, yeah. if you fuck? look at, if you look at any city's budget any big city's budget the, the police department gets over sixty percent of that shit probably way more than that you know what I'm saying so it's like yo y'all don't need this much bread y'all don't need arm y'all don't need military surplus vehicles y'all don't need fucking big ass guns like it's not the Avengers is not coming through cities every other year B and tearing Word. shit up like y'all don't need these big ass guns y'all don't need all this shit like y'all niggas watch too much movies B nobody's doing all this shit my nigga like you know what I'm saying like nobody's going to war with y'all niggas shooting it out like y'all don't need none of this shit for real for real you know what I'm saying so all y'all need is probably a, a, a calm glizzy and a shotgun like in a, in a vest B let's be real yeah. but but um so basically, that's what defunding the police is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, just not people keep looking at it like, yo, they want to disband the police or or take or or have no more police. Nah, they still gonna have police. They're just gonna actually be there to fight crime. Like, we gonna call you when an actual crime occurred, or you gonna be there looking for actual criminals, like trying to solve crime and shit. Be like, niggas don't call them police when a fender bender happened or when fucking you lock your keys in your car. Or, or when, you know what I'm saying? Like, all type of little bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. I feel you. I mean, it's definitely, they need to, like, like we said earlier, they got to go through stricter training. And they need to hire, like, crisis meditators, like, people that, like, can help pull up to a situation, like, situation with Rashad Brooks, who doesn't necessarily have a weapon on him. Yeah, he's not like, a dangerous person. He's not yeah. an actual criminal. He just needs, he just someone that somebody that could come assistance. yeah like somebody that could like help de-escalate yeah. the situation yeah, we, got, we got civil civil unrest over here somebody that can just come piece this out that don't not not put an itchy fucking trigger finger yeah you know like a mean? calm arbitrator yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. A, like expand basically like basically they need to expand the social worker office type shit hire a whole new you know what I mean like Put more bread yeah, into these other out, programs. Send a nigga out with a bottle of pills if you yeah. need to. Like. Put more bread into these other programs. Put more bread into into all the things that would help fucking foster the fucking improvement of black people's lives. I, mean, I don't yeah. know if I touched on it before. Like I said, like it it become not only do they need to have police from the neighborhood police the areas in like if it's a predominantly black neighborhood, it needs to be predominantly black police. On top of that, they need to start like you said, if if they don't want to necessarily just 
flat out defund the police at least allocate the bread in the different areas like creating programs where the police have to meet with the youth at an after school program twice a week so they can get familiar with the children in the community and watching them grow up and same thing like they could meet at like the town hall like have town hall meetings where they meeting with the citizens of the community and they know who they policing if they're not gonna have them just be from that area so that way like there's some familiarity when you when the police know what's going on and they pull up on a situation and they know the person who's committing a crime it's a, a way higher chance that it could get de-escalated or it's just not gonna be that much crime because you see a nigga that you know all the time running around with the badge on you gonna keep a light like you know what i know him i see him at the spot i i he cool people you're not gonna do too much and as an officer you're liable least liable to put your fucking knee on somebody's neck against somebody that you know you might have shot hoops with you know what i mean but just little shit like right. that that they gotta allocate the funds and things that they gotta start doing to make this shit a better place but right now it's like we fuck police you know what i mean like you're not on your type of time man. yeah in fact, I think this shit is, um, Colorado, the governor of Colorado, just, they just dropped some fire shit, son. They just, like, they just dug the police immunity shit. And some... Oh, what? Like, yeah, they already starting to drop shit, bro. But, so by the, I feel like by the end of this year, next year is going to be a whole different, shit is going to look totally different. Like, How much more much do we have world. for this blackity black empowerment movement that's going on? Is it I just mean, through the summer? It just or depends on how hard. until the NBA starts. I so. mean, it just depends on how hard niggas black it up. Like, are y'all going to... How blacking it up are y'all gonna black it up? When the NBA starts, niggas gonna come through the, <laughs> the group chat with Durant highlights. Yeah, like how black are niggas gonna make this shit, bro? God, are you are are you are you gonna celebrate July 4th? Nah, I'm good. July 4th is a dub. We dub July 4th. I'm celebrating. Yeah, no, My July man just called me and asked me about the 4th. I said that shit is a dub, bro. Not doing July 4th. Listen to Umar. Not all the way. You ain't gotta listen to everything Umar say. Is a yeah, we not doing July 4th. I Drake, just if you want to see your family fellowship and all black, just mad. Yeah, yeah. Old, yeah. Red, white, and blue and all that. Fuck them niggas. Fuck the 4th of July. We still wasn't free. And that's it. Yeah. Juneteenth was our holiday. If you wanted to let off fireworks and do all the wax shit, then you could have did that. But other than that, it's a dub. It's nothing to talk about. We not promoting the 4th of July. We about to dub all pagan holidays, you know what I mean? Like Kwanzaa, I need to see it, it, more emphasis on Kwanzaa this year too. Don't be just don't Chris, don't go Saint Nick out crazy. Like I yeah. need y'all talking Kuji Chakalia, Ujima, yeah. Unity, all that shit. Know. Nia, I you know what I mean? I, I, Emoja. I've slandered Kwanzaa on many occasions, but gotta get, get my man his Kwanzaa this year. Yeah, y'all better do Kwanzaa, man. Seven days of the uh, principles, man. Y'all better stop fucking around. Don't play with it. Just cause, you know just saying? cause it's some black shit. Just cause, fuck just cause, it's, it's blacking it up. Nigga. We blacking everything up. Like buy, listen, buy some black food, buy from a black restaurant. You need to, you need to spend with black people once a day. That's it. That's what we mandating. If your your weed man needs to be black, yeah, weed man should be black by now. Your drugs from should be black. Like just black it up, like black it the a, fuck any up. Any way possible, like you know what I'm saying, like fuck that. But yeah, keeping it going, like, we're gonna get into my favorite segment and the things that we're all set on. And I'm gonna start first. Yeah, I'm all set on the fucking time it takes for these fucking convicted for these fucking race soldiers to get indicted or get charges brought upon them. Brianna Taylor Killers is still free. She got killed months ago. Gotta this shit is shit out of down. yeah. That niggas got set the, the the courthouse, the precinct set all that shit on fire. Be honest, bring justice to these officers. Be stop just firing them and thinking that letting them think that shit is sweet. And then the next thing you know, they going to the a hundred miles up the highway and they still got a gun and in the badge. They still eligible for their pension after you fired them. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. So I'm all set on the judicial system in place that is allowing these cops to sit around for months, weeks, months on end before any charges are brought and they just out here killing people. Like, nah, we need, we, it shit gotta be faster, bro. And if it's not gonna get faster, we can continue to burn shit down. And I also wanna say, protesters, I'm all saying y'all niggas going outside and you're not armed, especially in Atlanta. In Atlanta, in the past few days, they done shot at protesters, white supremacists. They shooting in the crowds, they don't give a fuck. Two people got killed on Edgewood. An Indian shorty got shot in the leg by university, if I'm not mistaken. So they out here. Protect yourself. That's what I want to say. Got Drip it. up, B. Fuck that license shit. Up. But yo, um, I'm all set on 
white people and people of other races being mad nice to me right now oh. for no apparent you reason. You set on that? I'm all set. I like the white I'm people all, being nice. Nah, I'm all. I'm let, all me you, let me tell you. Let me tell you why I'm upset on. All set on it. Okay. I'm all set on that because don't treat the couple black people you see on a day to day basis or whatever nicer. Like even though that is nice, I need you to turn around and go speak to the hundreds of white people or whatever race people that you know uh-huh. that are silent about this or that are saying we're bugging. We, they don't know what we're talking about. We 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 delusional. Black people always want some shit. They always begging for some shit. Like all the shit you hear over there on the KAG hashtag, the Blue Lives Matter hashtag, all I all the shit on Fox News. You know what I mean, because my, my my thing is I study the ops, so I always be looking on the other hashtags. I always watch. I mean, watch that's Fox why you always News. watch Fox News. I study, I, gotta, the I study the ops. I study the ops. I gotta so know how they move. I, I know what they. I know CNN the talking is the points. Fake ops. Yeah, I know. I know the talking points they running with and all that. So so like. Don't don't put on a, a brave face for me for my black ass. Like don't give me that shit. Turn around and if you know what the fuck is going on, speak to the people that's around you on a day to day basis that are spewing that shit and you being silent because you don't want to be seen a certain way or you don't want to stir the bowl or whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I mean, do that. Talk to them. Like holla at dumb people. So yeah. talk to talk to your closet racist friends, yeah, white people. Oh, I could I could post as much shit as I want. Oh, at the end of the day. It's, it's, I don't know that many people that ain't black. You know what I'm saying? So my shit ain't gonna get everywhere I needed to go. So for that motherfucker that's, you know what I'm saying? Them crackers or whoever, blah, blah, blah. That's, I need y'all to be posting the shit you see your black folks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, post that shit, be like, let it be known. Like, stop wasting the fuck. Stop taking up your fucking shit. I don't even want to look at your shit right now. <laughs> that shit. My son said he's all set on white that bitches, shit. White bitches were giving me mad um flicks all weekend. Like, yo, bitch, I'm like trying to look at you right now. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, like you not, fat. yeah, where your flag at? Where <laughs> your, if you don't got a fucking map of Africa, I'm not <laughs> jacking it. Fuck out of here, bitch. And you know, we got to always promote um, literacy. So today for the book of the week, I'm going to just promote my pop shit. It's called There Goes the Hood by Lance Freeman. It's basically about gentrification in Harlem and Brooklyn. And he actually went to different projects in Brooklyn. He went to Pink Houses. He went to St. Nick Projects in Harlem. And actually went and talked to the residents and, like, had interviews and sit down with them and just tell them how they felt about the gentrification that was going on in New York. It's a great book. It's by a black author. So we support a black business. Go pick it up. Learn something. You know what I mean? We need to look into We need to look into um, Poweronomics, too. Dr. Claude Anderson. I've been, I've been doing a lot of... I've been reading the... Uh, Doing a lot of uh, research on bruh, and he got a, uh, an amazing, amazing economic plan for the black community to achieve power in America, and he's been working on and preaching for the past, I don't even know how many years, that motherfucker knew Martin Luther King and all that shit. Oh well, yeah, so he, he knows he, some shit. Motherfucker's 85 years old, so. Yeah, shout to him, you know shout saying? to him for being here still. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, like, this is a motherfucker whose family had to own 500 buses in Winston-Salem. Segregation ever type shit. Shout out to fuck going on. Shout out to Powernomics. Yeah. Shout out to WorldSet.com. Order some fucking merch. Yeah, Black Business. You know how we do. Oh yeah, I, I told my homegirl. She just told me she had got some merch. Shout out to lady. She said she had ordered a, a coffee mug. She just ain't posted. You know, she just she, she do her due diligence in private. So shout to her. I ain't see no order come through. She said she had been ordered a minute ago. You know what I mean? Oh, right. But yeah, make sure y'all order a merch. Y'all subscribing to the podcast on iPodcast, Spotify. We there. You know yeah. what I mean? The search where you literally search well set anywhere you listen to a podcast at. It's anywhere. there. It's It'll be on YouTube still. And look for us on Instagram. Follow us. Make sure you following, liking, yeah. all that so you keep up to date. You know what I mean? We appreciate y'all time. Black power. Regular. Thank you.